Beauty Patootie Math Angel. Welcome or welcome back. This is Decaf Math ASMR. Today we are going to continue learning some basic Mandarin Chinese. Last time we learned how to count one, two, three, four, and five. And today we're going to continue with six, seven, and then, with all of our numbers combined, we can continue playing with our basic math operations. So, I hope that you find this relaxing, interesting, and fun. But if you also just want to tune out and zone out and drift off to sleep, that is totally, totally okay. You can also play with the numbers since math is universal. So, you can just ignore the Mandarin part if that's what you want, but I do hope that you enjoy this little change of pace, and thank you for allowing me to share this with you. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, so let's start with 6, from 6 to 10, then we'll briefly review 1 to 5, but I trust that you can check out the other video if you want more practice with those numbers. And then we will do more basic math, okay? So, starting with six. Six is liu. 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 And this is basically pinyin. It's spelling out what we're saying, how to pronounce the word. Um, and we won't get too much into the tones, but that tells you how to say it. So this is... Liu, 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 liu. And for a native speaker, native Chinese speaker, sometimes pinyin is actually harder than the character itself because you almost have to learn how to spell a certain word. Um, and so, you know, that's <laughs> just a little side note there. This isn't really formal, but it does help us remember how to pronounce something. So, there's the Chinese character. And liu, it's like a downward movement. Liu. Liu. Six is liu. Seven is qi. 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 And qi is kind of hard, I think, intuitively to know how to say it. It's not quite ch. It's not ch. That would be ch. But it's qi. T, T, and then that horizontal um, symbol, just T, it's like a neutral tone. T, T, so it's not G, it's not G, it's not G, it's T, T. There's the character. Mandarin and Cantonese are actually my first languages. Um, but I am rusty just because I grew up speaking English, but I do recognize when there's like a slight accent, so I'm trying to do it justice, <laughs> but it is kind of hard to soft speak and whisper it. Actually, whispering's a little bit easier, but I just wanted you to know like, gee, like I'm, I'm trying to do it justice, but sometimes it's easier to say it in a sentence or to say it in context. So for instance, Liu, liu qi, liu qi, and the next one's ba, so it's a little bit smoother there, but I'm trying. <laughs> but qi, qi, I can hear it back, and so it's not a big deal, but I'm trying to share it, so I thought I would. <laughs> but eight, eight is ba, ba. Stash character. And it's not like a hard ba ba. It's not ba, it's ba ba a little more gentle. Ba liu qi ba. Very good. Ba nine is jiu 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 jiu. And if you notice here, the spelling is like J I U. But with six, it's 
how I you so one might think that they're similar in how you pronounce them but that's where the tone actually makes all the difference so six is liu but nine is jiu jiu so even though it looks similar in spelling it's actually quite different right and then ten ten is shi 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 and shi so it's not quite she, she, she. And the Chinese character actually kind of looks like the plus, plus symbol. So that is it. Very good. So liu, liu, qi, qi, ba, ba, jiu. Very good. Okay, so let's go through one, two, five briefly just to make sure that we're on the same page here before we combine all the numbers. Um, so this is one. It looks just like our seven. Ten divided by two. 
here equals Tai Wo Wo Tai very good Tai Hana Tai Hana very very good Haha Tai Ga Liu Tia San Tai Yi Tua Sha Liu Tia San Tai Yi Tua Sha Liu Tia Tia Sha Tia San Tai Yi Tai Yi equals Tai Yi Nine Yes Tio Liu Tia San Tai Yi Tio So we do have um, different words, but then we kind of get into like 10, 6, 10, 7. So, uh, yeah. So, but for Mandarin, it's really straightforward there. So we can keep going, play around with more numbers, basic operations. Um, I did not learn math in Mandarin. So 
I kind of would recognize it like we can do some more basic operations like with fractions and stuff and how to say it but we can learn that together um, and that'll be quite fun as well but I hope that you enjoyed this little lesson uh, let's run through 1 to 10 one more time with these basic operations and you can kind of settle in if you're not asleep ASMR, math ASMR, ASMR. 